G'day and welcome to Girls Can Do Anything, the show that encourages girls to just give it a crack. Today we're going to install a basketball hoop, so let's give it a crack. Alright, so I think we're going to go one metre up, and I think we'll probably go 1200 wide, so 1 1.2 metres wide on the backboard. We're just going to use a bit of a ply board for our backing board. It's uh, it's only about a 6 mil ply, it's just something that we've got left over. You might want to use something a bit, bit thicker but it'll do us for now and uh, lucky for us, it's already 1.2 across. So it was just one that we're gonna chuck out. So we'll just cut it down to one meter width and that'll do us for our backboard. Okay, so we're gonna just mark it out at one meter at a couple of points across here. And then we can use a level or any straight edge to get a nice straight line between our points. All right, so to get a nice straight line, we're going to line up the line here with the edge here of this uh, notch, which is the edge of the blade. So as we go along, we should have a nice straight line. Right, just to neaten it up a bit we're going to take off the corners like this. You can use anything you want, I'm just going to use a bucket so if I have a quick look that's about 100 mil to each point of the bucket so to make sure we get it nice and uh, straight and at the exact point we'll mark out 100 mil and on this side mark out another 100 mil and we get our bucket on here matching up with the 200 mil point and then we are ready to go. All right, to do this, we're using one of my favorite tools, the jigsaw. If you haven't used the jigsaw before, it's important just to let the jigsaw do the work. Don't push too hard or you end up breaking the blade. take off some sharp and rough edges we just got a bit of sandpaper and we're just going to clean it up a little bit all right just to make it a bit thicker for when we mount it we put another piece of um, ply board here we just stuck a bit of um, aquid here which is just a wood glue between them and then we're just going to nail them on just to make it a bit thicker so when we put brackets on it's going to hold together. Okay now we're just going to assemble the ring. It's all pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, It was about 80 bucks from Rebel. Uh, it comes with all the stuff you need and the instructions so let's give it a crack. So we're going to mount this now. Uh, what we've done is we've just used a pencil and used the, um, the holes on there to draw them where we want it to go. We've measured it up in the middle. These bolts are going to go through, uh, right through the middle of it that way. But because we're putting it up against the house, uh, they're going to be too long. So we're going to actually use an angle grinder to cut them off through the middle here, uh, just to the perfect size that we need them. Okay, so we're going to use a power drill to drill these. You just got to know what size your bolts are. It's on the instructions anyway. They're eight mils, so we use an eight mil drill bit. It's pretty simple. We flipped it over. We put the screws in, and as you can see, they're really long. So we're going to have to cut these off at this big point. We're going to angle grind those right off at that point uh, to make them fit the house. But uh, we've cut these right down, they're looking really good and we're just going to put a piece of wood in here so that uh, this isn't rubbing against the tin roof. Alright so last night we gave it a bit of a paint, it's come up pretty well, today we're going to mount it. So we're going to use some of this roof strapping here, I've measured out two spots here because we're going to use the existing roof screws uh, or those points to mount it. <laughs> Put 
the strapping on the back we're going to use this this is called a cuphead uh, bolt and you can see here that it's got a nice square bit uh, on the front here so when when it gets to this we're going to actually nail it in uh, which is so these are used for wood so the the fact that it's square will stop it rotating around and you always use a washer on the back which stops it pulling back through the other way you'll have a nice strong anchor all right so we bolted these down it was a little bit precarious so we uh, we needed two people to do it and couldn't really film it as we went but anyway we put in straight into the roofing screws there and on the back so that's bracing it stopping it falling down so on the front here we've used a different screw they're a bit longer it's called a hex head screw and then it has a uh, special little drill bit that goes in there